Hi everyone, I'm Risa from Risa's Journal. Can you believe we only have two more months left of 2021? I hope next it will bring us a greater sense of normalcy. I set up some monthly spreads while I was in Japan this summer, but I really don't like the pen color I used, so I'll show you guys how I cover that up later. Starting off my monthly cover, I'm using this baby blue color. You guys have seen this monthly cover set up before. I'm writing November across the 11 with my Muji 0.38 gel pen. And then I'll jazz things up a little with some stickers and that's about it. Okay, moving on to my monthly calendar. This is what we're working with. I want to cover up these boxes here. I've already cut up these squares that fit into one box on my monthly calendar really nicely. Before I paste down the paper though, I'm gonna cover up that pen underneath with some white out and then I'll stick on the squares on top. I wasn't able to put the paper on top really perfectly inside the black lines. So I went over those black lines with my Muji 0.38 gel pen just to blend everything together. Now onto my favorite step, which is decorating with stickers. I've been really getting into alphabet stickers, so I'm writing out November with these purple alphabet stickers and some other stickers that go along with these purple vibes. I've been adding some element of collaging almost every month now. It's just something that I really enjoy and it doesn't take too long. It's, it's a nice relaxation moment for me. Before I forget, I'm writing in the days of the week. I've made the weekend green and the weekdays purple. For the rest of the spread, I just let myself have fun with some of the new stickers I bought over the summer. I also added an upcoming events section where I can write down due dates and other events that are coming up in December so that I can keep them in my radar. This is what we have so far. All right, now moving on to my weekly spread. I wanted to have all seven days on one page and keep the other page blank. I split up my page into six boxes. Five of those boxes are for each of the weekdays and the sixth box is for Saturday and Sunday. I don't really write much for the weekend so one box is plenty. The blank page on the right hand side is for me to write all the assignments I'm going to do that week. I can allocate those assignments into smaller chunks on the weekly spread on the left hand side and write the other tasks like doing laundry or something also on the left hand side. 
this system has been working really well for me. I can plan out all my tasks at the beginning of the week and chip away at those tasks throughout the week. I did go ahead and do all of that off camera so in the preview at the way end, you would be able to see what that looks like in action. Okay, and that's it. It's really just three spreads. I've been much happier just creating the spreads that I actually use. There's no use in adding all the cute trackers if you really don't use them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer. As always, thanks for watching and stay safe out there.